Now joined by Hudson McCorney of the men's lacrosse team, one of our generalsports.com athletes of the week. Hudson, a big week for you last week. Not only did you set the single season points record in WNL men's lacrosse history, you also won a conference championship. We'll start with the individual accomplishment first. To have the season that you're having and have it culminate by becoming the single season record holder for most points in a season and still playing, I mean, just talk about what has been a crazy senior year for you. I mean, honestly, it's been pretty surreal. You know, just going day by day with all my teammates, just being really fortunate to play with them and honestly have them in the position for me to get goals, get assists, just working together with them has been really amazing. It's something I haven't really fully understood yet. Getting texts from some of the alumni, it's really cool to see just how deep everyone cares and how far it goes back. It's just something that's been super overwhelming and I've enjoyed so much of it. And to touch on what the team accomplished Saturday night at Lynchburg, a 12-11 win to win the conference championship for the first time since 2019. Just the celebration, everything after it, being able to take in that moment. Just talk about how special that was. Uh, it was really special. You know, it's something that I haven't had the, um, the privilege of having here in my four years. It was really awesome just to see all the hard work come through. I got to give it to the rest of the senior class. I feel like after covid in 2020 and 2021 was kind of a rough season. Just being able to turn the boat around and have it all be that special moment Saturday night was something that I'm probably never going to forget. What has made the, this team kind of click at recently, winning 10 straight games uh, now as you enter the NCAA tournament? I think we definitely took a little uh, look into ourselves after that little three-game stretch. We had some tough losses, CNU, Lynchburg, Hampton, Sydney. Luckily, we knew that you know, the way the schedule would shake out, we'll be able to see some of those teams again. So just working within our systems, buying back into what we wanted to accomplish as an offense. You know, we got a lot of young talent, great coaching staff. Everyone just makes it work really well together. And it's been really cool to be a part of, and hopefully we can keep going into the uh, NCAA tournament. That's next up for you guys this weekend. Get to stay here in Lexington for the opening weekend. Uh, you find out your opponent tomorrow night. Just But just kind of seeing how everything went, selection show, all of that, and the excitement to be at home, what are you looking forward to this weekend? I think just being home, not having to travel, like you said. I know last year we had to go to Salisbury. That was a six- or seven-hour drive. Kind of throws you off being away from home, but having another game on Wilson Field, hopefully, too, will be really awesome just to have all the friends and family around you know, as we play two, hopefully, really competitive games and get two wins. He's Hudson McCorney of the men's lacrosse team and one of our generalsports.com athletes of the week. Hudson, thanks for joining us, and best of luck this weekend. Thank you. Appreciate it. Now joined by one of the generalsports.com athletes of the week, it's Allie Schwab of the women's lacrosse team. Allie, this past weekend, your team won another conference championship, but also in the process, you became just the second player in program history to have 100 goals and 100 assists in your career. Just talk about what that means to you to be able to see that all come together and get that little bit of weight off your back as well. I know. I think it took maybe like three games. I didn't have any assists, so it was really just looming over, but I'm so glad it happened. Um, I mean, it really couldn't have happened without other people just based on assists. It's a two-way street, so I'm just so thankful for my teammates for helping me get there and scoring up all the passes I gave them. That was awesome. And then the goals, you know, it just comes from having a great attack and a great team together to plays together and just allows for such diversity in, like, our plays and our sets, and you know, it's a great feeling. From, you know, last Saturday being senior day to – the conference tournament this past week. Just take us through the last like eight or so days with you know the senior day celebration. Now, now conference championship celebration. Just what has the last week meant to you, knowing that you know it is your final season? I'm definitely not taking any day for granted. Um, every day is a surprise, and it's kind of it's a little bit sad knowing it's my last time, but I'm enjoying every time. The senior day celebrations were amazing. I couldn't have asked for a better team, better coaches. They're just so incredibly nice and gifted and talented and they care so much about us and it felt so amazing and then after that the lead up to the ODAX was just working hard going hard to goal every day during practice um, the team's all working hard and you know it's every day super fun and I'm so thankful to be here and just this past weekend winning another conference championship Having a little bit of a delay during the game with weather and everything, I guess that, because that, that was really kind of a good turning point. Roanoke scored, they cut it to a three-goal game. After that, they scored just two goals the rest of the game after that. And it was a big run and kind of shift of momentum coming out of the weather break. What was maybe something you guys talked about and just kind of the anticipation of not knowing when the game was going to resume? Yeah, well, we went back to the locker room. We just started blasting some music and getting loose and having fun and just remembering, like, 
it's an important game, but we can do this. It's our team. We've got, we've had close games before, and it's nothing new. So we just had to play our game, get back on the field loose and just playing well, and it's what we did. And just worked super hard and came out with a win. So next up, the NCAA tournament. You guys will stay here in Lexington through this weekend as well. You'll get either Capital or Transylvania. Just found out who you, you will be playing. Just the very quick takeaway in the few minutes it's been since finding out where your team will be. Uh, well, we did play Cap or not Capital, Transylvania last year. So it'd be nice to see them again if they get past the next round. Um, Capital, I heard, they're pretty good. They're uh, scrappy. So it'll be a good game either way, and I'm excited. Well, Ali, best of luck. Congratulations on all you accomplished, and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you.